This video is a crash course in time-saving ChemDraw tricks for people already familiar with the program. If you're brand new to ChemDraw, check out my ChemDraw basics tutorial first. Okay, let's get started. You can generate structures quickly from their names. ChemDraw 16 is smarter than ever and able to generate the structures of drugs from both trade and generic names using a database. If you're TAing and want to write some quiz questions for students to identify functional groups on interesting molecules, this is a great way to do it. Sometimes ChemDraw can't figure out your structure from the name. In this case, you can go online and find a chemical identifier to use. I usually use a smile string. Google the compound name with the word smiles, and then you'll be able to use ChemSpider or DrugBank to copy the smiles string. Wikipedia has smiles strings also. You just need to click show. Now paste special from the edit menu or use this key command. Remember, when using websites where many people contribute data, you should always double check your structures against a vetted source. Now suppose you're TA and you need to write a quiz question using the structure of stearic acid. The professor wants all of the CH2 groups drawn out because the students aren't familiar with line structures yet. Well, you can type out each CH2 by hand, but that's pretty painful and takes a lot of time. Instead, you can type the methylene group out once, and then, making sure the A is still selected, highlight your label, and then double-click on any atom where you want to copy it. Let's say one of your lab mates presented this structure in group meeting, and you can't for the life of you remember what the CBZ group looks like. Select the abbreviation, and then click on Expand Label in the Structure menu. Now the carboxybenzyl group is drawn out for you, but it's overlapping with this other label. Visit the text menu and select flush right to anchor it at the right side. But you'll notice our group looks like it's connected at methyl rather than nitrogen. What we need to do is type the label in reverse, beginning with the ME. Let's go back to our structure with the CBZ group abbreviated. Imagine that you misremembered how the abbreviation was written and you capitalized the B. Now, when we expand the label, ChemDraw thinks this is a carbon bound to a benzoyl group, and our structure contains an error. You can check structures in a couple ways. You can activate chemical warnings from the View menu, and any atom with incorrect valence or charge gets boxed in red. We can also use the Structure menu to check our structure. This gives us a little more info about the nature of the error, and here it tells us that carbon's valence is not correct. Here I've drawn a reaction where a ketone is converted to an acetal, but my product is much lower on the page than the starting material, and my arrow really isn't in line either. We can select each object we want to align, and then visit the Object menu. I'm going to align top and bottom centers, and this will line up the middle of each of my molecules. Now I'll scoot the structure over a little bit, and our scheme is looking pretty good. There's some tricks for adding text as well. When we label something on a structure, ChemDraw automatically makes it into a formula. However, when we're typing text, ChemDraw doesn't know if we want it to be a formula or not. We need to tell the program this is a formula by selecting the text and clicking this little CH2 here, which makes the selected text into a formula. Let's say you heated this reaction, and your PI wants you to use the delta symbol to show that. From the View menu, select the Character Map window. <laughs> Apparently you can even add emojis in this version of ChemDraw. We'll type Delta, and a variety of representations for the character pop up to choose from. Finally, we need to align the arrow with the text. Select the three objects, and align the centers. I used to make molecules with sugars connected to aromatic rings. When drawing this structure, I can cheat a little and have ChemDraw generate glucose for me. The sugar was protected, so I'll use our label copying trick from tip 2. Now, when I connect these two parts of the molecule, my bond is crooked and way too long. So, I'll click on the Structure menu and Clean Up Structure. ChemDraw automatically corrects bad bond angles and lengths. Now I need to add some groups here. When I add them on, they're going to overlap with other parts of my structure. So I'll apply tip 4 and flush these left. 
Notice when I double click to copy the label down here, the same text flushing is conveniently applied. Let's say this is a new compound you just synthesized and you need to get a mass spectrum to see if you've actually made what you think you made. You'll need to know the molecular mass, and you can calculate this quickly by selecting View and Show Analysis Window. You can paste this info, and if you don't need all of the data, you can deselect the items you don't need pasted. Finally, wouldn't it be nice to know what to expect when we take an NMR of this compound? From the Structure menu, we can generate a prediction of the NMR shifts. Now, mousing over any proton in the molecule highlights it in the spectrum and vice versa. What's your favorite time-saving trick in ChemDraw? Let me know in the comments, and for more chemistry tutorials, subscribe to my channel.